A New Mexico couple is waiting on the Grand Princess cruise ship just to find out what they're going to be doing next after being quarantined for about two weeks. They let us know what they're going through now and how this whole ordeal is making them feel. It's only on 7. Cynthia Rizzo and her husband still on board the Grand Princess cruise ship, even though it docked today. The New Mexico couple says there is only one way to describe it. It's like being on a movie set and then you stop and uh, realize this is us. This isn't a movie. This is real life. Cynthia even giving us a peek outside on her balcony. And back in the back there is all the ambulances and things. And this is what it looks like. It's no fantasy. It's reality. And the scariest part, the unknown. Because we don't know where we'll end up. We're hoping we don't get separated. We just don't know. We just don't know what we're facing. Right now, all they know is they could stay on the boat for at least another two days. Then if their screening for symptoms comes back negative, they'll head to a military base for quarantine. Once they get there, they'll get tested for the coronavirus. But for now, there's only one certainty in their life. Every day checking to see if we have any symptoms because that's very scary. The couple says they feel very isolated, but understand why the crews are doing it, even saying they have done a great job. Amazed at the steps that are being taken to keep people away from us and making us feel kind of like outcast, even though we know we have to be that way, it still doesn't feel real. They told us they're feeling fine and they do have a message to their loved ones in New Mexico. To all my family, we love you, we miss you, and we'll get home as soon as we can. Now, we talked to the New Mexico Department of Health to see if they know where the Rizzos are going. They said that's decided at the federal level. Just as the ship was docking today, the CDC issued a warning to Americans to postpone any cruise trips, especially those with health conditions who might have an affected immune system.